Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys. I got it, I got it, I got the goods. I got the goods, okay? I went to Chick-fil-A first thing this morning and got me some goodies. So if you don't know, maybe you're not aware, Chick-fil-A has just opened up here in Calgary at 9223 McLeod Trail Southwest. This is not sponsored. This is not endorsed in any kind of way. They're not giving me any money, though. I think they should. But I showed up first thing. Okay, not maybe not first thing. I showed up around 1045-ish, and they opened at 1030, and there was already a line all the way out the door, looping around. The drive through line was insane. Like, it literally was going down McLeod Trail. Like, if you know anything about Calgary, you guys know that area. The lineup literally went down McLeod Trail, and I was like... Okay, y'all, this is just chicken. <laughs> like, you guys should not be lining up at 10 something in the morning for chicken. But then who am I to talk? Because I'm out here lining up at 10 something in the morning for chicken. So I got there. They gave us this cute little menu. Letting us know all the sauces, the dressings, the drinks, all that good stuff. I already knew what I was going to get because I've had Chick-fil-A in the U.S. before. And don't worry. Your girl got a drink too, okay? If you're wondering, Taylor, well, what did you get as your drink? Sweet tea, obviously. Wh what else am I gonna get? Lemon, okay, I could get the lemonade. I didn't want lemonade, I wanted sweet tea. I love me some sweet tea. Inside here, we have the waffle fries, which yes, I did take a bite out of one or two already. Don't judge me. Next here, we have the chicken sandwich, the classic Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich my 12 piece nuggets and of course you're saying well taylor what sauce did you get y'all know i got me some chick-fil-a sauce for my fries and my polynesian sauce for my chicken nuggets okay i know the deal i know what's up okay let's start off with the fries i'm gonna crack open the chick-fil-a sauce so when i got there the lineup seemed a little interesting i'm looking at the people in line and i'm like are these not children and when I say children, I mean younger than me. I mean like you're in like elementary school, middle school, high school. I'm not kidding when I say this lineup was filled with middle school and high school students. And I'm like, do your parents know you're here? Anyways, let me let me dive in here. Mm. Oh my god. I might go back. Oh my goodness. The fries are a little cold. That's on me. Where I live to the location of this Chick-fil-A is a bit of a way. So I had a feeling these were going to be a little cold by the time I eat them and review. But they are good. So I also had some fries earlier when they were still hot and fresh. Because I knew they were going to be a little on the colder side by the time I got home. Fries with the Chick-fil-A sauce, 10 out of 10. 100%. The fries aren't too salty. They're not too bland. This is really, really, really good. Okay. Next, we're going to open up the Polynesian sauce. This is, again, the 12-piece chicken nuggets. Oh, baby. That's 12 pieces? That looks like more than 12 pieces. Smells. Smells like a good Chick-fil-A nugget. Take it. Dunk it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little worried. I was a little worried. Oh, that's good. A little on the saltier side, but I do like salt. The Polynesian sauce is where it's at, okay? I would rank these eight and a half out of 10. So the last time I had Chick-fil-A was when I was in LAX on my way home from a pageant I did in Florida. I had a layover in LAX. And when I tell you I walked all over that place, I'm like, I need to find me a Chick-fil-A. There has to be a Chick-fil-A in here. There's no way I'm gonna be here and not get Chick-fil-A. Finally found one. I had to walk quite a ways from my gate to where the Chick-fil-A was. Got my Chick-fil-A. I had a long layover. I had breakfast at Chick-fil-A and I had lunch at Chick-fil-A. That's how long my layover was. That they were able to switch over the menu and they saw me again. They're like, girl, you back? And I'm like, I'm back. <laughs> the staff there were so nice. But so that was maybe about a year ago or so. Anyways, here is the chicken sandwich. She's looking, and this is pulled right out the bag. She's looking thick. She's looking juicy. You got the little pickle down there she smells good now let's take a bite mm -hmm. this is a juicy flavorful chicken sandwich now 
when it comes to chicken sandwiches in Canada, my favorite is Mary Brown's. Next would be Popeyes. This has just beat out Popeyes in the top two. I'm gonna have to try the spicy version to find out if it will beat Mary Brown's because I like Mary Brown's chicken sandwich, spicy or not spicy, but it's good. Again, a little heavier on the salt, but I like that. If you're not into the salt, to give an unbiased review, I would say, again, this is about an eight and a half out of 10 because of the salt content. But I am a lover of sodium, so I'm surprised I don't have high blood pressure. Mm. And one thing I like to do, I like to dip my chicken sandwich in sauce. I dipped it a little bit in the Chick-fil-A sauce. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Tip, if you have a favorite sauce of Chick-fil-A, dip your chicken sandwich in it or get an extra sauce, drizzle it inside your chicken sandwich. Okay, to start upgrade to a 9.5. <laughs> you definitely need some sauce in here. On its own, eight and a half. With some sauce, nine and a half. If it's your favorite sauce, you can't just pick any sauce. Find out which sauce you like, go with that. It does improve the taste of the chicken sandwich. All right, and last but not least, before I really dive into this food, we are gonna talk about the drink. Half of the sweet tea is gone now. Um, I am obsessed with the sweet tea. It is so good. It's amazing. And they have the crushed ice, not some regular ass ice cubes. They got crushed ice, okay? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what's good. That is all I have for you guys. I hope this was a somewhat informative review. I'm trying to keep it short because I do want to dive in and eat this food and I have assignments to go finish for school. I will go back, not today, but I will go back and I will try other items off the menu. If there's anything you guys suggest that I try, because this is just my typical favorite Chick-fil-A meal. If there's anything you guys think I should try from Chick-fil-A off of this beautiful menu here, let a girl know. And if there's any sauce you guys recommend other than the Chick-fil-A and Polynesian sauce here, let your girl know down in the comments. If you are in Calgary, I suggest head on over there within the next week or so. Head on over there. Oh, that's the other thing. I don't know if it's just an opening day thing, but they were handing out cute little Chick-fil-A keychains and they were handing out cookies. The chocolate chip chunk cookie was divine. It was so tasty. It just kind of like melted in your mouth. It was so, so, so good. I love the cute little keychain that they did give out to people. Again, I don't know if it's just an opening day thing or if they're going to have it for like the opening weekend or whatnot. But definitely head over to Chick-fil-A if you guys are in the Calgary area. I will catch you guys in the next one. Again, don't forget to comment down below. Follow me on social media and I will see you guys later. Peace out.